Okay, very good. Uh, so then uh, let's go ahead and call the meeting to order. Um, it is uh, 2.40 p.m. Uh, and uh, let's move to the, uh, let's go ahead and uh, call roll. Yes, um, Ms. Patty uh, Goldberg had mentioned she was gonna be absent. Um, so she's absent. Arturo Garcia? Uh, Mr. Jose Castillo? Present. Uh, Mr. James uh, Kirby Seidman? I don't see him on the line, so I, I believe he's absent. Can you start again? Yes, here. Mr. Jose Ceballos? Here. And Ms. Carol Alexander? Can you see me? I did see you right now. There you are. Yes, we see you. Oh, there you are. You have quorum, Mr. Chairman. Very good. Thank you. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, next on the agenda is the approval of the minutes for the meeting of June 9th. Uh, the minutes were sent to everyone ahead of time for our review. Uh, did everybody have an opportunity to review the minutes? And are there any uh, corrections, additions, additions or deletions? Sensing that there are none, uh, I would like to entertain a motion that we approve the minutes as presented. Motion to approve the minutes as presented. Is there a second. second? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. Citizen comments. Uh, citizens are required to fill out an outline with this card no later than 2.45 p.m. and can be found uh, at the city of uh, Laredo's uh, website. Comments are limited to three minutes per speaker. No more than three persons will be allowed to speak on a, uh, any side of an issue. Speakers may not pass their minutes to another speaker. Comments should be relevant to the business at hand and no derogatory remarks will be permitted. Uh, do we have any citizens to, uh, that have signed up for comments? Mr. Chairman, this is Nadia. Um, no, not at this moment. They do have up to 2.45 to submit a comment. At this moment, there's no comment submitted. Very good. Uh, the next item on the agenda then is a discussion with possible action and update by Able City of the Terse Number One Project and upcoming workshop. And so uh, what I'm going to do at this point is uh, turn the floor over to Able City to uh, start the discussion and then uh, they're going to be asking for feedback from the board as they help prepare for the workshop. Uh, Able City, is that okay with you? Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Okay, Henry, I was wondering if you can see the presentation at all, any of these slides. Yes, I have a copy of the presentation, so I, okay. I do have it. Okay, great. So, uh, from the last meeting to this meeting with some discussion with the board chairman, we, we came up with a a way to begin this workshop by really concentrating on what uh, came from the TERS plan and, and board action over the past uh, year and a half, I guess, since the, or two, I guess it's three years that the board has been meeting. And then from our district, our, from the district walks that were done, I guess about eight months ago, uh, you identified some projects while uh, those walks were being taken through the district. Uh, there was some discussion about uh, Pitt Street and uh, a small modest project there. There was some discussion about uh, a north-south corridor, picking a north-south corridor, corridor to tie in uh, the business district into uh, into the project on a north south pedestrian access point. And then finally, of course, to get other board ideas on potential 
projects uh, that have, you know, uh, that have, maybe some of you have, uh, have uh, come up with in your mind uh, over the past few years or even lately. So this is a way to just cast the, the workshop and begin have some some sense and and how to proceed without you know, uh, without trying to put too much of a fence around it. So the presentation by Able City on the workshop would be us uh, starting out with uh, slides and descriptions of what is in the Viva Laredo comprehensive plan and other existing downtown plans, uh, which also include the economic development plan for the city of Laredo. And then uh, have a briefing on the tax increment fund account, basically how much we have, what we're looking at this year, that uh, very short uh, to understand the funds that are available today and then have a brief uh, slideshow of projects um, in other cities uh, that have uh, a relationship to what we're going to be taking on in the district um, with, of course, an eye on projects that show what can be done with certain amounts of budgets. Then all of that, by the way, that part of the, of the slideshow will be interactive and there'll be surveys as we go along. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be like a virtual, a little tiny virtual charrette of, of ideas as we're moving along during that portion. And then finally, of course, we'll gather everything from that workshop and discuss uh, in, a, in a following workshop shorter uh, what what came together that has uh, in terms of ideas and where there's agreement um, on design concept well design concepts in terms of how to proceed within the parameters of what has what of what has been thought of already in the plan. And then, uh, and also discuss funding me mechanisms at more in depth at that point. Uh, it's important to prep, prep for this workshop. Uh, Able City will work with the finance department to get a good presentation, short presentation on the tourist fund. Uh, we'll prepare the agenda to share with the board. We'll prepare points the board should think about prior to the workshop. So you're coming in prepped. Uh, the board chairman will provide a copy of the original TERS folder with program history, all the uh, original documents for the creation of the TERS, uh, provide uh, so the support studies regarding downtown development and then uh, provide the board resolutions which prioritize first projects and a copy of any other resolution that may uh, may talk about other project priorities that have happened uh, in in the past so that you all are prepared uh, for this workshop and uh, and there, it'll be a really good jumping off point and, and, and it'll shorten the amount of time of the workshop if we don't have to go over all of those things during the workshop. Um, we have to get a date and time. It's WebEx workshop. It is going to be, it can be on a Monday, any day Monday through Saturday, it can, it should take place after 5 p.m. more than likely uh, so that people who do go to work and have a full day and they want to participate 
uh, at least in watching, and, and it's open to the public. We can uh, work on ways of, of, of uh, opening these, uh, these uh, surveys and questions that we'll be asking the board uh, and make them open to the public after the workshop so that we can get some comments uh, from, from people in the district if that's something that you would like to do. Henry, is there anything that I've missed? No, I, I think you, you hit everything on uh, uh, spot on. Uh, you know. So anyway, I, th I think you hit it spot on. Uh, we're talking about uh, the participation of uh, the board as well as uh, either the sitting in or comment of the public in general, but I certainly I want the board participation because this is the, these are the members that have been sitting in on the meetings and, and the development. Uh, I, I want to reemphasize something that you talked about. You know, I, I think that if we focus, it, I'll send out the information as requested there in terms of uh, prep work, uh, the copy of the original files that we have on the programs, um, any studies that have been put together, I'll forward to the, the board, uh, and any resolutions. I mean, I know one that comes to mind immediately is a resolution passed by the board emphasizing the Zaragoza uh, uh, street project. Uh, but, you know, things have changed, and I understand how, how we're in a different dynamic right now. Uh, we still want to focus on that, but we certainly are open to other suggestions. Uh, I like the idea of going to, let's see if you, yeah, I like that. That's the, the correct slide. So I like the idea about just collecting ideas on the Zaragoza project. And then we did talk about, you know, uh, 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 modest projects on it could be the street to bring them up to speed, bring it, revive, revive it, because it has some good work done that hasn't been done for a while. And then there was talk about a north-south connection. I think with those three primary talking points and idea collection points, we're going to have plenty to do at a workshop. Uh, it's not going to be long or else we'll lose everybody's attention. So I'm, I'm thinking anything from about two to two and a half hours. Uh, and we're going to, and because the budget is limited, asking everybody to think within the budget, sure, we may be able to leverage funds in the future, but I think it's a good idea to start from a basic a point where let's say we're not leveraging funds and see what ideas the board has and what ideas uh, Able City brings to the table. And then anything we can do to enhance that and make it better because we're able to leverage funds, great. Uh, any comments? Uh, I, I welcome participation from the board or comments from the board on the ideas presented so far. Well, I, I'd like to say something, Chairman. Um, uh, I, I know that I suggested a few projects myself um, in, in terms of what I sent uh, Able Cities to kind of consider in terms of to compile and it kind of fits what uh, is kind of mentioned there. I, I would like to have something at least at the workshop so we can look at numbers in terms of like, let's say that um, I'm, obviously we want something short term to kind of have that immediate impact so people can see us moving on something. And then, uh, so I'd like to at least see some you know, numbers or something so we can know, okay, well this, if you guys wanna do this, something like this, it might be somewhere in the range of one to 150, two to 200, you know, um, so that we can actually start making those decisions and start moving on it um, and not take another three months to develop projects. So, so let me see if I hear you correctly, Arturo. Uh, so, what we're also asking able the city to bring to the to the to the table are a couple of solid ideas with budgets in mind that immediately fit the budget that exists. Correct. So that these are things we can move on almost immediately if 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 the board chooses to. Correct, and, and I'm sure that I'm not the only one that threw out some ideas. So, whatever those ideas are, if we can just have like. A, and I'm not talking spending a, a huge amount of time in trying to get us something, but just like some sort of, you know, estimate or, I mean, uh, just, you know, something very not so sharp, but just a little bit round, you know, just so we can kind of start making, you know, some qu qu quicker decisions instead of taking, like I mentioned, another two, three months just to be at the same place. I think that's, I think that's spot on. 
uh, uh, Viviana, is that something that you can, uh, uh, I think that's something probably you maybe were thinking of, but certainly something, a, a, a dimension you can bring into the, the work. Well, I can't give you anything like specific on the, on, on the actual site because we would have to develop something for that, but I can, you know, pinpoint other projects either that we've done or uh, have been done in other cities and we can give a roundabout. Like for instance, one of the suggestions was to do a, a, a allocate some monies for murals. Um, well, we, right now we already know uh, approximately what that takes. Uh, and, and there are uh, many murals that have gone up and we, ha and we have an idea of what they cost. Uh, so that's a kind of a very simple one. Another one is the wraps for the electrical boxes. That's a simple one for, for us to get a, an idea of what they cost. Um, but, you know, it, along that cost, a lot, it's not just the wrap, it's the cost of the artwork and and engaging the artist and doing all of that, unless we ask, uh, you know, the, the Arts Commission to do that on our behalf or, you know, that, that kind of thing. There are different things that we can do. Um, but I, I agree with Arturo, and, and, and I think I think you're moving in the same direction, Viviana. Uh, this is something that we have an idea of, more or less. I, obviously, I am sure Arturo was not ex uh, in, uh, specifically asking for the most precise cost, but a general amount so that we can move forward with the project and have a feel for what's going on. Uh, and I see that Jose Ceballos agrees with with uh, with Arturo's idea. So uh, you know, I, I think. Uh, uh, I think it's moving in the right direction. Uh, something to consider, uh, something to bring to the table when we're uh, meeting at the work at the workshop. Okay. Yeah. Anything else uh, in terms of the workshop itself? Uh, I see Carol and Jose uh, Castillo also on the line uh, on the meeting. Are we going to decide on a date now? Uh, I thought I'd leave that towards the end. I wanted to talk about the agenda at this time and, and uh, the way we are and what we're going to be covering on the agenda. Henry, are, at the end of this, are, are we going to take action on projects? There'll be an action item. Uh, at the end of the workshop? Yes. Yeah, that's that's the idea. Point. Take action. Thank you, Jose. And Viviana, you, you, so uh, I think that's an important point to keep in mind that uh, uh, it's 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 actually moving in a direction to a product that we can start working on in a direction we can start moving on. Even I know there's some that are more complex uh, and will require more time, but as Arturo mentioned, there are some, uh, and, and I, I don't know if this is the best terminology, but bite size uh, projects we can start with almost immediately to show that we're working on projects. That's, uh, a, like, that's a good reference. For, I like that. <laughs> very good. So let me just say this, that um, a collection of information, we're going to have to collect a lot of information that comes in. Off. I think once you see the presentation, it's going to be filled with a lot of visuals, right? Uh, and then and then in between those visuals, there'll be some prompts that um, help us, you know, really hone in on, on what we would like to see. Uh, yes, we can do an action item on smaller, very small bite size, as you say, uh, projects. But I do think that there's an opportunity to take this information and then, and then at the next meeting, um, go through it and then do a motion on what you see there because I think it's important to uh, get a get some understanding of potential funding mechanisms for some of these projects that don't have anything to do with bonding at this point. So um, it might take a little longer for those 
for those uh, medium-sized projects? Well, and I think, and I think, I think we're going to end up uh, with. Uh, short term, very short term, medium, uh, uh, let's say short term to medium to long term projects. And I, I think the, work, the workshop, we should focus primarily on the short term to medium to start with. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. I have a question, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, um, the uh, this poster will say, I know I, I just saw Jose on the, on the, on the line. Um, Jose, I, I know that the initial concept of us being able to bond out, uh, there was an issue with like, um, and I'm not sure do you think this is appropriate too for the item, so, but uh, just to, our, our capacity to bond, uh, I know that there was an issue that there needed to be a minimum balance. Uh, do we have that information for sure or, or, or not? Uh, I would need to gather that information and request it from um, the city works with uh, Israel Noza, financial advisors. I would need to ask them for information on that. But as of um, June 30th, the cash balance was 865000 So, uh, So I think that would be good information to have going into the workshop. I know that you don't have it on hand at the moment. Have, uh, to, to, be honest, to, to be honest with you, Henry, uh, I, I was hoping this, we, we could do a motion today in particular to the easy one, which is I, I, I strongly believe that we all like the arts. And, you know, and I think that's an easy one to just kind of get moving, at least get out of on the street. Um, uh, you know, I had mentioned uh, Table cities when we were talking individually to them uh, about putting like fifty thousand dollars set aside uh, to start that process so we could get get some some art um, throughout the tourist area you know sp uh, you know sprinkled throughout um, so I don't know if the board wants to consider any motion today or not uh, but you know that's a simple one I don't think we need to wait a month to figure out if we need to want to do that well. I yeah, I I saw talk to me more about it. I don't I don't know anything that you're talking about. So what do you where uh, how much who as a, as a short term, you know, I I had thought you know um, you know making about uh, fifty thousand dollars just setting aside for you know for artists and maybe saying about ten thousand bucks per per artist. You know, and might be more. Maybe one just needs seven thousand and. And you know the balance we remain and we push forward to another project that we might get whether it's smaller or whatever uh, but I, but i mean so we can keep this momentum going we just had that beautiful mural of of a specialist guian just painted out on, on the weekend on a one-day effort by by an artist you know and you know it, so much attention and so much color you know that you know that could be utilized in downtown you know right now especially with all the empty things, you know so it's just kind of putting it out there and you know so is the, so, so, so I, I is see we could talk about it so is the, is there uh is there uh a tar i, I know we think about the turns because it has to be within the turns area yes but have buildings been identified already and what buildings have been identified and what artists have been identified. I don't want to go through the selection process myself right now i know it's a budget issue i just want to see is that who's working this idea already? Are, are we are we putting money into something that's already started, or is no no there's there's no uh, I mean not that I'm coming up with it. It's just so we can get moving uh, and that discussion right now with the board. Like you're bringing up these really good points. You know how do we want to implement it? Do we want to control it ourselves, or do we just want to issue out a you know a, a motion and, and give that authority to to the cultural arts commission to decide on you know, within the next three months, you know, issue out a, a call for artists, you know, and let them figure out where they want to do it and we just give them the boundary area. Oh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Can I say something? Because I'm very familiar with uh, with how this works, uh, worked on the ordinance for 2% for, for the arts, um, that uh, they need more than just they'll say great if you want us to figure it out we'll figure it out but i think uh it would be great if we could say this is um 
we've identified these areas. This is what we want to talk about in those uh, uh, murals. This is what we're trying to say about this district and, or the downtown or the culture. And uh, because they, they need those parameters to understand what they're going to be submitting for for uh, for somebody to make a decision on, on what to actually pick for this area. So they need a theme, they need a location. Because they, they, they're they pretty need much already built, so you're gonna, that's already put it pretty much well built. That's what we already did with that beautiful building downtown. Tina can answer to that. The specs call for, you know, particular requirements for the artist to, to, to undertake, right, Tina? It had to be culturally significant. It could, you know, it, it had some some, yes, some, yes. some parameters there. Those are already set, so I don't even know what we need to create. I guess the only issue on this one would be um, locations. Yeah. But um, yes, uh, the Culture Arts District already has a template and we've used it um, in connection with the rental property we did downtown. Um, mm -hmm. We asked the commission to help us put an RFP out and or call for artists and they did and um, we got our mural that way who handled that tina i'm sorry so it, it was our funding from um, a, a federal grant that we received but the arts and culture commission that by the library uh, director miss um she is the one that um, I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Someone, your, your typewriter is going or you're typing and it's coming straight into the microphone and we can all hear it. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, Tina. No problem. So um, the what the Art and uh, Commission has is they have a template and you were able to, based on the parameters I wanted for mine, um, uh, building, I, I basically said what I wanted in my building, and then I just told them the amount that I had available, and they put it out there, and of course, they spread the word, and that's how we got the proposals. I would suggest that we talk with uh, Cultivartes. Um, they're, they, will, they can really help put together a nice uh, RFP for this, uh, if this is if that's what you want to do. They, they, they can help. They can help this board uh, do that, and then give it to the Arts and Culture Commission. Henry, I just wanted to check in here. This is Kirby. Hey, Kirby, how are you doing? I had a scheduled MPO technical committee meeting at the same time at 2.30. Yeah, that's right. I mentioned that the other day. Um, Join as soon as I could. Thank you. So uh, uh, we've, uh, we're talking about uh, the workshop, and we're going to get into the next item in terms of deciding the day and time. But Arturo has suggested maybe taking uh, some action at this meeting regarding setting aside uh, some money for a mural projects downtown uh, to get started in terms of the, uh, start moving forward in terms of the uh, uh, tours and projects we're working on. Uh, any other comments from the board regarding the uh, Arturo's uh, idea before I ask him to put it in the form of a motion? So yeah, I just have a question. Is Funding, where, where are we going to put that funding or where's the where's the proposal to put that funding? We currently have 850000 That's what Joe told us right now in the kitty uh, curb. And, and are we discussing what organization to, to give that funding to for murals? No, no. Just, it's just right now discussion in terms of just throwing out an idea. Uh, well, we're doing the, the, the planning for the workshop, right? But I mean, I, I think the simple stuff like doing the some art murals, which we know we all, I think it's it's very supported uh, by the community. Um, you know, uh, we could set aside like, and I'm just throwing out a number. It could be less or it could be more, whatever you guys want. Uh, but um, fifty thousand dollars, and and we just put it out there, and we can direct the uh, staff uh, or able cities to coordinate with the um, with the uh, art cultural arts commission. Very similar to what Tina and her crew that did with the with the project. Um, 
at uh, 820 Convent. Um, it was just a coordination, put out an RFQ call for artists. And, um, you know, we designated the, obviously we knew which wall, so that's the only difference here. We don't have the locations. But uh, at the end of the day, it's our decision to to decide on the locations. So, and the amount, so. Well, we gotta get permission from the property owner. Here's my two cents on that. We already have funding of capital projects, the 2% for the arts that is set aside um, for things like murals. And the direction, the last direction of the council meeting was to put together a plan, an arts master plan for the city where that process of, of where best and how best art could be, could be, including murals could be spread throughout the city, including the downtown. So my only worry is that if we put some funding specifically aside for downtown, that, that maybe council members might not see, the, you know, they might just take the money they were otherwise gonna spend downtown and put it somewhere else. Whereas we have the unique opportunity to spend above and beyond. If there's already a mural program for the city, in other words, and our, pro our program for the city, we would want that to happen downtown as well and not for maybe council members to consider, well, we don't need to spend that money downtown because the TERS is gonna do it for downtown. Whereas we can spend this TERS money on maybe other things, uh, you know, streetscape or... Um, and the other thing I would say is, well, we're so close to having this workshop and really thinking through some of these ideas. I think it'd probably be, this is just my two cents, but uh, it'd probably be good to wait for that till we start to to, to um, allocate some of these funds so we kind of think through holistically what our approach is to uh, spending. That, those are my thoughts. Any additional comments? So uh, Arturo, if we uh, built the idea, uh, built with, uh, the workshop is coming up soon. We can take action at the workshop. Here's an idea of what if we built in an item into the workshop to discuss is that uh, uh, the mural idea. By that point, uh, let me ask a question of Kirby. Sorry, I'm talking and then I thought of a question. Kirby, uh, on the mural project, the statewide mural project, what... Is that moving forward? Is someone working on that? Is there a deadline? So the, the direction that council gave most recently was that there is going to be an arts uh, master plan for the city and the, the library department is going to be heading that up with the arts and culture commission and, 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 um, and you know, stakeholders from around the, I, mean, I would think that would take a process of several months to begin and then probably a year until they're until it's a plan that can be adopted. That's what I was going to point out. I didn't want to say it, but you know, it's going to be a year from now. The downside is there's some time, but the upside to kind of waiting for that plan before we start putting more money into the program is there may be some really good outcomes from that plan that decide on a really good way to spend that rather than not not that it's not a bad thing we're doing murals. I think it's good, but it's not very strategic how we're doing this. We're just somebody wants one here and then we, we, we do it there, but maybe there's a more strategic way we could be spending some of these dollars. Uh, and Kirby, let me, let me, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Vienna, but uh, Kirby, and so the idea here, and, and I get where Arturo's going with it. <laughs> Believe me, uh, I understand Arturo. Uh, th there's a frustration about how long all of this has taken. And, and let me start off with a very base, uh, basic point. We can't move forward unless money was there was enough money to move on a project. <laughs> and until most very recently, we were trying to get to that $1 million magic number that would enable us to leverage additional fund money. That looks like a more complicated deal now. So uh, Arturo's idea here is we need to start with a couple of, and I used the term before you came on board, bite-sized projects that will help us move forward to show that the TERS is active and moving on something. Did I capture your your thoughts, Arturo? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to wind up spending $100,000, and I'm just being facetious here, on you know planning and doing all this stuff, and then a year from now, we're still not even having done anything yet. So, and, I, I, and if you really look at it the way the process stands, is basically if we were to do a motion today, and I'm okay with waiting until the workshop, and, and let, if we can do it in less than 30 days, um, and then uh, and having an item there to discuss as far as murals, um, and then moving forward on a decision there, because by the time you do that, you do a, a, an, an RFQ or a 
a call for ordinance that's going another 60 days. Then we specifically want it in the historic district somewhere, I hope, uh, one of the historic districts that's in the TERS. And that's going to be another 30, 40 days that we got to go get permission and approval from them. So now you're three, four months now just to do a simple mural. So uh, yeah. I agree 100% that I think we need to reassess since, as you noted, Henry, it's not our original plan may not be, you know, given, given the current financial circumstances, we need to adjust our approach. I would only say, while I agree we want to get started on some projects, there is already a program, there's already funding that's been set aside that focuses on minerals, and we have the opportunity to spend first dollars. We have a lot of flexibility in how we can spend that on some areas that aren't getting any attention with the streetscape of downtown. And that may include an art component, but but that if we spend that money, that may detract from what otherwise would have been spent on murals here in the, in, in the downtown area. And so my, my thought is with that money that we have, I agree, let's get started spending, let's not wait, but let's spend it on those areas that are unique to the church to spend it on. Murals aren't, murals are fairly easy to get funding for, find a, put an art cute together, get an artist, get it going. Whereas we can get involved in some stuff that's mixed city, mixed private side, street state. There hasn't been funding set aside for uh, because there's not a unique organization with the ability to spend money in this way. So um, if I can also interject, there's, a, there's also the potential of uh, restoring historic signage. Uh, one comes to mind, I think it's, I, wanna, I don't want to mangle this, but it, it was a, a either a pharmacist or a, a bakery. Is it Borchers or it's it's I think it's on Grant Street. It's a beautiful. I think it's on Lincoln. Lincoln. I think it's on Lincoln and it's Borchers. It's a bakery and then it turned into city service furniture. Right, and it's, it's, and it's still there. there. It's one of the few that are still there. I, I want you to know that in El Paso, that's that's what they've taken on doing it in their downtown. All the historic uh, painted signs that were on buildings, they've gone about and restoring them. And uh, it's a it's a huge beloved project. in uh, George Georgetown, little downtown, little downtown Georgetown, uh, did those. They call them ghost signs. And it almost it really, it really looked nice when they redid them. They brought them vibrantly back to life. Right. It almost sounds like a mural project, uh, a, a kind of a mural project. Um, <laughs> they are. It is right. a project. That's what I. That, that's why I'm agreeing. So Arturo, uh, Arturo, can I ask uh, that uh, uh, the idea for us to talk here was to uh, also decide on a workshop in less than 30 days. In other words, between now, not before the next church meeting, but sooner than that. And uh, and we include an action item related to art or something with, uh, that's, a, 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 like we said, bite size and easy to handle before and add that to the agenda so that we cover it at, the, at that workshop and take action on it then. We'll do it. Okay, so let me put a motion in uh, to see what everybody thinks. Uh, Motion to uh, to have um, uh, include in the workshop uh, that will be scheduled within less than 30 days um, in coordination, and we can decide on the day right now um, um, to um, to have a, a bite-sized project, like uh, Henry says, related to um, some sort of art mural or art murals, um, and um, to be no more than you know fifty thousand um, dollars. You know something, and some, and 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 discuss and bring uh, suggestions uh, for several locations. Is there a second to the motion? I'll second that motion, but with a little bit of discussion, if I. Yes. Yeah, so, so it's been it's been moved and seconded. It's, is, is there any discussion? Yes, I'd like to just add that. Sorry, guys. The whole idea of the TERS is that these money spent, they affect property values, increase property values, increase activity, and then that brings more money into the TERS. So we really should think, well, that doesn't mean we have to do big things. It doesn't mean we have to bond and spend millions of dollars, 
especially given the current financial reality that that may not be possible. We can do bite-sized things, but even when we're doing bite-sized things, the question that should guide us is not, hey, is this gonna look pretty for downtown? Or, you know, is this gonna, it should be, what can we do that will have a maximum impact on property values and then add more money to the TERS to help us do more of these projects? And we can do bite-sized projects that'll have an impact on one property or two properties. It will maybe get a property occupied that it wouldn't otherwise be occupied. It could make a project happen that would otherwise not happen. With TERS, we have a lot of flexibility in how we spend this money. And we can spend them on individual property owners, individual properties, individual projects, a lot of flexibility. But that should be what guides us. How do we spend this money? That it actually gets a building occupied that wasn't occupied otherwise, that gets a, a, something leased that wasn't leased, that, that gets a renovation project to happen that wouldn't otherwise be renovated. That's the whole purpose of the TERS. So we should keep that in mind. That's my only. Very good. Uh, agreed. Any other comments, questions? Sensing none, uh, I, uh, I'd i like to entertain, uh, I, I'd like to have someone call for, uh, move the, uh, no, you sort of moved and seconded. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Viviana, so you have an item that we're going to be adding, a dimension we're going to be adding to the agenda that you presented. Uh, and while we're at it, then uh, I would like to also, uh, I, 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 the chair can't make a motion, but I'd like someone to, uh, I'd like to contain a motion that we uh, also accept the uh, outline uh, that, that Able City presented as an agenda for the workshop. Did you all know, see that? Isn't is this? Are you talking about the one that's on right now? Screen, yeah, the one on the screen. Okay, A adding the motion, of course. Yeah, uh, uh, yes, uh, Arturo's motion would be added this, but we need to. We also need to agree to the. We need to agree to the uh, uh, agenda for the workshop, and I want. Uh, I would like someone to make a motion to accept your presentation. If I, I'll make that motion, Henry, and I'd like, if, if it's okay, I'd like to add one thing, mm -hmm. um, which is, and we don't have to spend a lot of time on this, but I think, you know, the, the maintenance of downtown and the appearance of downtown is still pretty sloppy. And I would like for us to identify um, activities or lack of maintenance or lack of care uh, to discuss with city, uh, city officials, city management, uh, and I'm talking about power washing, I'm talking about tree trimming, things that are related uh, both to aesthetics, but also to value and encouraging people to come back. Um, there's probably little that we can do as a board, but I think just uh, from a discussion standpoint, we can make just a short list of things that are important. Um, some of the trees are, have gone back to uh, not being cared for and trimmed for, for a long time now, maybe as much as eight months, maybe even even longer. Um, so if you if, if it's okay, I'd make that motion with the addition that we spent at least five, 10 minutes making a short list or bringing a short list that can be provided to uh, the city management. Very good. Uh, so uh, there's a motion on the table uh, to accept the agendas presented and adding an additional item related to downtown uh, maintenance. Is there, uh, is there an opportunity for discussion now? I, I, we need a second before discussion. Is there oh, a second to the motion? I'll, I'll second it. Thank you, Carol. Uh, any comments? Yes, um, I'd like to see that. Uh, I'm sorry, my computer's all over the place and I'm not um, really sure. Okay, so what I'd like to see is maybe in the workshop, we could identify as a board the lack of the next of the whatever's going to sustain, like I said, the trees, the beautification, whatever's there, the cleaning, that kind of stuff, and the, and the glaring vacancy of that component. I'd like to see that connected to, to uh, not, not just the, you know, uh, that the community should potentially uh, create some kind of entity to take care of that going forward to so that whatever we build 
will be tended. And and like and like most tours, I believe in build and then and then some kind of business uh, group or project or entity will maintain what's built because the tourist doesn't have money to do like that power washing and that kind of thing. And not only that, a uh, tourist money can't be used towards that. Right. Uh, so there's that glaring hole or if we build some, if we build, if we plant trees, who's going to water them and who's going to trim them? So I, I think that's a very good point that both you and Jose have, have raised. I agree. It's something that we should briefly discuss at the workshop. I do believe it's a workshop in itself, uh, but I think we need to introduce it at the workshop and talk in general terms about it, and then uh, and then charge Able City to, to, to move forward with something that re relates to uh, maintenance and upkeep and things. But we need to discuss what we what we see ourselves. So let's make that part of the agenda, as you noted, Carol uh, and Jose, and uh, and uh, and then uh, charge Able City with some more work on that subject. Yeah, uh, I'd really like to see a, a component on the agenda so that so that we could really have a robust, uh, even if it's quick, right? Because it's not news to anybody, um, but we could have a, a a discussion about that missing component okay so we have a motion uh, is there any other discussion i'm sorry is there any other discussion from board members sensing none uh we have a motion on the table to uh, accept the workshop as presented by able city uh adding uh those comments uh made by jose and carol uh to the agenda uh and of course, we already have a motion that we passed related to Arturo Garcia's uh, portion of it, but we're, we're addressing this one in particular. Uh, so uh, I'd like to uh, call for the vote. Uh, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay, now let's move to the item on the agenda that Carol uh, brought up earlier, and that is working, uh, selecting a date and time for the workshop. I think we're gonna have to dedicate, uh, I, I want us to seriously look at our calendars because we're gonna need your undivided attention. I've, I've already done Zoom workshops that go for five hours and you lose, and people at five hours take breaks in and out of meetings. And then, so you really don't have anybody's undivided attention and it doesn't work. Uh, I think two hours is an ideal time for a workshop. Uh, given the agenda, I'd say let's make it two to two and a half hours. But I think if we go beyond that point, uh, one, we'll be strained from the subject. It's too easy to stray. And two, uh, we're going to lose people uh, because when you're in your office, you'll take the phone call. Uh, you'll take the knock on the door and all of a sudden you're not a participant in the workshop. So if you're all agreed, uh, let's go ahead and look at our calendars at this time. Uh, and uh, does anybody want to throw out a suggestion? I'll throw out that I can't do Monday the 27th. <laughs> okay. Uh, and actually, city staff cannot do Monday the 27th because city council. Okay, so uh, on my on my calendars, a Thursday seems to be glaringly empty for me. So uh, any Thursday seems to work for me. I could do Thursday. Thursday the 30th would be good because council. 30th is a good for me too. Council yes. would already be done. So our on the city side, we're not as busy because we're not preparing for the next council meeting. Very good. Well, uh, so we have uh, a suggestion of uh, the 30th of July for the workshop. Uh, are there any other ideas, any other uh, suggestions? And alternatively, the 23rd would work for me as well. Henry, um, is this after five as you all talked about? Uh, that's that was what was suggested. It doesn't have to be at that time. 
uh, it could be earlier. I know the idea here, and thank you, Able City, for thinking about that. But Able City's thought behind it is that we allow people who are at work then to join in. But uh, this has to work for the board's agenda principally because we need your undivided attention. So if we need to move it up in time. We can move it up in time. And can we do Thursday the 23rd? That's, that's um, next week. Well, next week, uh, Able City, you're the one that has to do the homework for it. That would also work for me. So. That works for me, too. I'm good, too. It just depends if it's not too rushed for Able Cities. Able City? Uh, sorry, I realized my mic was off. Uh, no, tw the 23rd is... Uh, too short of a time for us to prepare for the workshop. Okay, the 30th then, Able City? That's fine, the 30th is fine. Okay. I, uh, I may not be available after five on the 30th. There's a potentially a, a Laredo College meeting that I need to be at, and it hasn't been finalized, but if it, if it is, you gotta be there. Okay, so-, so can we make it maybe at three o'clock? Uh, the, the, I mean, I think it's- I agree. Similar, similar I agree. to our meetings. Okay, so is everybody free at three o'clock on the Thursday? Yes. The thirtieth. Yes. Viviana, does that work with Able City? Yes. Thursday the thirtieth at what time? Three o'clock. Three to what? Uh, let's say three to five at the latest five thirty. In other words, I'm building it in a half hour just in case. Would it be possible to go a little earlier so that we don't? Spill over in case let's say can't make it or others. Okay, you can say two thirty or two. Two. Okay, so let's just say two o'clock. So I'm throwing two o'clock Thursday the thirtieth. A quick question on 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 text here. Um, does this need to be on WebEx or can we use our our Zoom account? The reason I'm asking is because if this is going to be an interactive workshop, we're very familiar with Zoom tools and things that we... Yeah. I think Zoom is fine. Yeah. We need to be careful how we notice the public and how they participate. And I think the best way would probably be to broadcast this meeting um, for public access so that everybody can watch uh, like we're doing now. My understanding, I'm sorry to, uh, uh, I, I understood and I, I forgot who I was speaking to at the city. The important point is to be able to record it. So, especially for broadcast at a later time. Uh, and, and I think you can do that with Zoom, right? Yeah, you can do it with both. PAC uh, records, the they, council does Zoom meetings and staff is using WebEx. They record both and put them on YouTube. We can, Zoom can also broadcast if you want it to. It get, you, we can give you all a URL that you can put on the city's Facebook page and it can be a live feed if you all want it to. Zoom does that too. Okay. I think that sounds like you have, uh, Zoom has all of the abilities we need for, to meet the requirements that need to be met. Chairman, uh, and what we can do is if, um, what we'll do is we can give uh, Able Cities the contact information with PAC um, so that they can ensure that this can be broadcasted correctly. And um, on. so, yeah, we can definitely let, him, let you know, Able Cities um, take over putting together the workshop and we'll just put them in contact with the people in the city that needs to, just to ensure that it, you know, can be provided live and, and, and the common part of it and all that. Very good. Okay, so we've settled the the uh, 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 mode of broadcast and, and tape and interaction. Uh, the day will be Thursday, July 30th at 2 p.m. Uh, are there any other uh, questions or comments related to this? Sensei, none of the decision has, I, I, I don't know if we need to do this as a formal motion. Uh, yes, actually, because it's going to be a public, we're going to up to the public. So uh, will someone uh, put this in the form of a motion, please? I'll make a motion that we schedule a meeting, a public meeting for that will be noticed for Thursday, September, or Thursday, July 30th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. 
for all TERS members to participate in. Second. second. Okay, there's been a, a motion and a second. Any comments? Sensing no discussion, uh, we'll, move, we'll I'll call for the motion. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Very good. Okay, uh, I think that uh, concludes uh, our uh, the items that were posted on the agenda. Uh, Tina, I assume in that three minute period, no one signed up to speak. Mr. Chairman, this is Nadia, correct. There was no, no citizen comments. I'm sorry, Nadia, thank you. Okay, great. So then uh, at this point, we've gone through all of the items on the agenda, and I will also now entertain a motion that we adjourn the meeting. I'll second that motion. to adjourn. Okay, uh, it's been moved and seconded. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. Uh, thank you, board, for a very productive meeting. Uh, we kept it till about an hour. I'm happy about that part. Uh, and I look forward to the workshop uh, and uh, Able City, please reach out to whichever board member you need to in helping to uh, move forward with the agenda. And we look forward to, uh, I think though, let's keep in mind, we, 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 we've done a good job of focusing on what the, we're gonna be discussing so that we stick to the agenda and the items we need to focus on. Uh, this can easily be a 10 hour workshop if we're not careful. So uh, let's keep that in mind. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Thanks, everyone.